All right, it is Thursday. Today we have a special hot dogs on prize picks throughout the board. I don't know why they're doing it, probably because they make millions every single day, but we will take the discounts. Don't even think about it, just take all the overs on those little hot dogs. They're basically tacos, but for baseball, okay? We have one NBA game today to discuss. Boston Celtics versus Atlanta Hawks, seven point spread, the, the Hawks being a seven point dog, over under 231. One thing I did wanna to touch on real quick, Yesterday, we absolutely crushed the community slip 25x. A lot of you hit the five free entries for 1,500. I saw 5,000. I saw 50s, hundreds. Everything that you guys hit, I saw it. I try to reply to each one of you guys individually, but I get so many. I must have had 100 DMs yesterday. It's hard to keep track. Proud of you guys. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Make sure that you don't go crazy with that money. It's promo money, so bet responsibly. Nothing changes. You still bet responsibly. You still bet within your bankroll. Otherwise, you'll be broke before you know it, and you'll be right back where you started. Take this opportunity to grind and build a bankroll. Do things the right way, and the first way to do things the right way is by watching these YouTube videos every single day and tuning into the TikTok Lives, all right? Let's go take a look at Thrive real quick where I'm doing my bankroll challenge. Okay, so TikTok took down my Thrive video yesterday, which was my bankroll challenge. I'm not sure why they took it down. They said frauds and scams, which is ridiculous because I appealed it and the computer gave me a response back in five seconds. So no human actually reviewed it. It's just a computer thing that they took down. My goal is to take the $50 bonus that I had and turn it into a thousand. I started with $52 yesterday and I lost two slips. I'm down to 36. As you could see here, I'm down to $36 because I took two L's yesterday. That being said, right here, this is who I like today. Marcus Smart, 17.5 points assist. Sadiq Bey, 12.5 points rebounds. DeJounte Murray, 5.5 assist. Kevon Looney, 23.5 points rebounds assist. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a fifth leg. If you're a new member, you'll have the free square, which is Trey Young today. That'll be your fifth leg. You'll get a 20, 21x payout on that with the free square promo code crush what i'm doing is i'm trying to turn that 50 into a thousand and i will keep you guys updated along the way if you want a tail go ahead this is the slip that i'm going to add today for now but i will post an updated slip via twitter later on okay that's over there now with prize picks where my all most of my money is i will look at the board here for you guys we have these two hot dogs there was one earlier today it's automatic over. You don't even think about it. Just take the over, ask questions later. If they miss, they miss. It's what it is. But you're getting a discount that's around 74% chance to hit. Anytime you're gambling and the house is giving you 74%, you put everything that you can down because that's just what you do. All right? One game, Boston Hawks. Everyone wrote off the Hawks. Everyone wrote off the Heat. Guess what? Underdogs can get there. They can hit. It happens. It happens every day. So let's go over this. Let's break this down. First, I'm going to do fantasy points, and I'm going to see if I can get this in detail for you guys today since we have a little bit extra time. Let's take a look at the board. There's the one game, as we discussed, Jason Tatum, 50 fantasy points. Believe it or not, he's he's been getting it done here, but by Jason Tatum standards, he hasn't been having the series that I thought he would have. I mean, he has a 60-point ceiling. He gets it done, don't get me wrong. But a lot of other players have been stepping up. Jalen Brown last game. Derek White last game. Marcus Smart the two games before that. Brogdon came off the bench, had a good game. You never know what's going to happen. I'm not going to take the under on Tatum tonight. I'm not going to because I, I know they want to close this out. I'm not going to take the over either. I may take the over on his rebounds. As I mentioned earlier, nine and a half was a plus EV bet, uh, which means plus expected value. I'll go over that at the end of the video. Okay, but for now, I'm just going to keep this to fantasy scores. So if you want to take Tatum over, I don't hate it. All right. Trey Young, 46.5 fantasy score. It was 48 last time. I'm taking the over. He's trending up. He wants to win. I know he's a prize pick salesman. I get I get all that. I do. I really do. But I'm going to keep putting him in there. Let's go take a look at his fantasy points per minute since we have extra time. Over the last five games, 1.41 fantasy points per minute right here, black and green. You see it for yourself. We go over to the special calculator, 1.41 times 35 because Trey Young's going to play 35 minutes. And there we get 49.35. So we go back over here. Their scoring system is a snidge different. Turnovers value more, but blocks and steals value more. And there's no double-double bonus. So... If we project Trey Young to play 35 minutes, which I, I can pretty much think that he's going to play 35 minutes, then I know that he should clear this fantasy score more times than not. Trey Young over 46.5 fantasy, it's in play. 
Okay, I'm taking the over. DeJounte Murray coming off a one-game suspension. He should be fresh. He should be healthy. Let's take a look at his fantasy score. Over the last five games, this is what matters most to me because we're in the playoffs. His season is 1.26, but his overall for the last five is 1.21. We go back over to the special calculator, 1.21. We're going to multiply it times 35, and we get 42.35. We automatically can know DeJounte Murray, the over, is going to hit more times than not. It's in play. Derek White, 30.5 fantasy score. His fantasy score per minute isn't that great. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it is. 1.022 last 10 games, 0.92 over the last over the season, and 1.05 over the last five games. Let's take a look at the calculator. I'm doing this live because we have more time. There's only one game. Multiply, okay, times 30, and you get 31.5 which will put him, and that's at 30 minutes. He may play more. He's always going to be in play. He gets blocks and steals. He gets, he does it all. He stuffs the stat sheet. My favorite prop for him will probably be whatever his real points is, but I will have some with his fantasy score as well. I'm keeping this just to fantasy scores. Capella, I'm probably going to keep taking the under on him. They lowered it down all the way to 24. I believe it was at 26. He scared me last time. It looked like he was going to get over, and then he just went under. I mean, I, I, I will continue to take the under on Clint Capella's fantasy score until he proves me otherwise. Marcus Smart, he sold everyone last game, myself included. The play of the day, I had five of six because of Marcus Smart in my main slip. I know a lot of you guys were feeling the same pain. Guess what? He played 27 minutes. Now, here's the thing with Marcus Smart. If he doesn't play 30 minutes, he ain't getting this fantasy score. It's just that simple. But does he have an injury? I'm not sure. When they play limited minutes, that's when the flags go off in my head. Maybe he really is dealing with an injury. So Marcus Smart, limited minutes last game. He played 27, 24 before the game was pretty much the game was pretty much over. And then he came in, checked in, got three quick turnovers, and went right back to the bench. So those three minutes were pretty much garbage time. He really played 24. If he plays 30, if you think he's going to play 30 minutes, take the over on him. I would not take the under here because if he does play 30 minutes, he's going to get this. I can't project his minutes correctly for you guys. I just can't, given what I saw last game. I will have a slip where I take his over on his fantasy just to gamble. I also like his real points. I, I would probably think his real points is the safest. So that's what I have to say about Marcus Smart. Okay, Jalen Brown, you know about Jalen Brown. 46 fantasy points last game, 38, 26, 35. He had an outlier game last game. I think I think if you want another under candidate, you can go under on Jalen Brown. It takes a lot for Jalen Brown to get this fantasy score these days because there's just so many mouths to feed. The way they're running this offense, they are so deep. They have a bench. They're they're just they're absolutely so deep, the Celtics. That's why they're my favorite in the East. Besides the Heat, because of Jimmy Buckets, he's a, he made me a believer last night. But it is what it is. If you want to take an under, Jalen Brown's your guy. I'm probably not going to go there. I'm probably going to stick with this right here. And then I'm undecided on Tatum. Tatum's points, 30.5. You could probably take the under there. Well, again, we'll discuss a lot of this stuff live. But so those are the fantasy scores. Let's go over the point totals. Trey Young, 28, absolutely in play. The man can put up 30 on any given Sunday. I like him. They want to win. They're hungry. He's got the dog in him. Out of nowhere, he's he's he found the bug. He's got the dog. DeJounte Murray, 21 and a half points. That's in play. He can get hot at any time. I will be taking the overs on those two. Jalen Brown, as I said, I don't like his fantasy points, but his real points, I actually do like his real points. 26.5 for Jalen Brown. I could go there. Tatum, 30.5. I'd probably take the under there. Derek White, 15 and a half real points. That's my favorite prop for him. Over, 100% take some of that. Absolutely. Bogdan, boogie boogie Bogdan, 11 and a half real points. You know he's in play. He was uh he started last game because DeJounte was out. If you want to take a shot on him, you see what he can do when he gets time. 11 and a half real points. They're going to be playing their hearts out. It's win or go home. I like him. I like that. Sadiq Bey, eight and a half real points. Probably not going to go there. If I take anything Sadiq Bey, like I said on Thrive, it'll be his points and his rebounds. Onyeka Okongwu, the community legend himself. Seven and a half real points. Do we do it? No, fam, we don't. We don't take the over. We don't take the under. It's just a fade. Robert Williams, eight points. He did really well last game. If I was going to take a Robert Williams prop, let's see. Points, rebounds. Do they have it? Robert Williams. Yep, 16 and a half points, rebounds for Robert Williams. That's probably the prop I would take for him. But again, don't think I'm going to go there. Old man Horford, 
points, rebounds, 14.5. If you want, you can take that. So that's pretty much the board. There's only one game. There's not really much for me to talk about. My favorite plays right now is it's just it's just going to be simple. It's going to be Trey Young. Trey Young, until he proves me otherwise, is going to be my play of the day and my favorite player. I'm not sure if I'm going to take his uh, assist, points, rebounds, assist, or fantasy score. I'll discuss that on the live stream later today. Okay, so one thing I want to do is I want to discuss plus EV betting. Okay, so what does plus EV mean? It means expected value. Okay, so whenever you see minus 160, like on a prop, it's heavily favored. Whenever you see plus, it's not favored. Okay, it's it's not it's a dog, which means you want to stay away from those type of bets on prize picks because we have a static payout. If you go to your ticket window, wherever this is, DraftKings, you put down 100 bucks and you put it on under three and a half and you win, they pay you 130. On the flip side, you go to DraftKings, you put down 100 bucks, you're only going to you have you have to put down 160 bucks to win 100, okay? So if you put down 100, you're only going to make 40, okay? So you have to put down 160 to make 100 on this bet. It's good to find minus 130 or more and my, whatever on prize picks because we get a static payout. And if you can find two legs at minus 130 or better, you're really in a good spot, okay? They're tough to find because prize picks tries to keep it at true 50-50. So you're not always going to have these same lines on prize picks like Draymond Green over six and a half. You're not gonna you're not gonna have that line. It'll probably be seven on Prize Picks, which bumps it to like minus one twenty. So you could take Sabonis one forty, and if these two lines were on Prize Picks and you parlay them together, you're in a really good spot. They're probably they're probably not even on Prize Picks yet. Let's see if they are. No, they're not even up there yet. But they'll be they will be bumped regardless because Prize Picks isn't gonna give you a minus one sixty or minus one forty that often. Okay, so I hope you guys understood that. I tried to break it down. I'll do another video on this in detail, but for I, I, I just wanted to cover it a little bit. Like I said yesterday, we had a ton of winners. I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Make sure you bet responsibly. Appreciate you watching the video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It gets new people to the channel, and that is what we're all about. Appreciate it. Good luck and crush.